the other one uh, which uh, should be in focus. Uh, Pre-quarterly updates. Abhishek is here with more. Abhishek. Uh, well, Prashant, to begin with, you know, uh, the new loans have declined sharply on a sequential basis, while AM growth, that's perhaps the best in our 11 quarters on a YOY basis. So take a look at the new loans. Uh, they are up 7.94% on a YOY basis, but they have declined more than 8% on a sequential basis. The AM growth, that remained robust, uh, growing at 30.8% YOY and about 7% sequentially. So on a YOY basis, this is the best uh, loan growth that you are seeing in last 11 quarters. Average ticket size which I've calculated is up close to 10% YOY and about 2.6% uh, sequentially. Liquidity is a comfortable uh, level given the fact that deposits are also up 15.5% uh, on a sequential basis. Capital was consumed about 110 basis point on a sequential basis and that is why uh, CRAR, that is capital adequacy ratio, has come down to 25.1% when compared to 26.2% in the previous quarter. Back to you. Alright, thanks a lot for that Abhishek. Well, let's hop across to Mangalam. Mangalam, Godrej's consumer update uh, was a, a little bit weakish, right? It was a little weak, you know. It was, uh, you know, reminiscent of what everyone would uh, expect as far as the FMCG uh, sector in the second quarter is concerned itself. Because on the industry, they said the industry continued to remain soft during the quarter. Rural markets witnessed slower growth than, uh, you know, the urban market. And they expect consumption to pick up in the second half itself. This is something that we spoke about in the first quarter as well, that any sort of pickup will happen in the second half itself. Uh, little did the street know that they have to contend with the second quarter as well as we speak. For the company in this quarter, we did see uh, you know higher than mid-single digit sales growth at a consolidated level, but margins would actually compress by almost 13 to 15 percent at an EBITDA level, and that's primarily because of the high cost inventory that the company has been sitting on, and secondly, upfront marketing investments. Uh, as far as India is concerned, there would be a mid-single digit volume drop, but sales growth would be higher on account of the price hikes that they've taken. And Indonesia concerns continue out there, double digit con constant currency sales decline. And the only bright part in their overall portfolio is Latin America and uh, Africa. Africa has been showing double digit growth for almost eight quarters and that will uh, continue into the ninth quarter as well. So today's low will be extremely crucial because for those betting on the second half of this year would be watching the decline in today's trading session. Okay, thanks a lot for that. Well, let's move on. Abhishek is also tracking RBL Bank and AU Small Finance Bank. How did that one look, Abhishek? Uh, well, the preview numbers have come in in terms of the business momentum in Q2. AU Small Finance Bank has seen a strong business momentum. Deposits up close to 50% YOY and about close to 7% sequentially. The loan growth is pretty robust at 41.6% YOY and 8% sequentially. CASA ratio might be at all-time high of 42% when compared to 39% in the previous quarter. Uh, their collection efficiency in the month of September has improved to 109% when compared to 106% in the previous month as well as the 106% that you saw uh, in the month of June. So RBL Bank, there is a mix back, especially in terms of deposit momentum, but loan growth has picked up, which augurs well for the bank. So deposits are up only 5% YOY and almost flat on a sequential basis. CASA ratio or the low cost deposit ratio, that might be at an all time high of 36.2% and loan growth pretty robust this time around coming in at 11.6% uh, YOY and about 4.2% uh, sequentially. Back to you. Alright, thanks a lot for that. I'm also watching